hey what is up guys bonds here so i'm gonna be taking out your guys beats in the 2k subscriber contest so i'm gonna be taking out the top nine beats out of 45 and i'm gonna be giving them all ratings this is gonna be a super in-depth video critique on these nine beats we're gonna see who's the winner see who gets the prizes let's get into it Woo! so in this contest we got 45 submissions and kind of the idea behind all this is that you guys were gonna flip a sample that i was gonna give you so here's a preview of that sample again Okay, so in this competition, I'm only going to show off the top nine songs from this whole competition. I got 45 people, and we're only going to show off the top nine. But if you aren't actually showing them in the video, I have sent you an MP3 like voice memo of how I thought about your beat. Well, some very personal advice about what I thought you did good and what I thought you could improve on, stuff like that. But anyway, let's start off this beat with Proud by 27. Ooh, that's really crazy. Really crazy flip on the sample. Hey. Ooh. I'm not sure if this 808 is quite in tune with some of the notes. Done. I think that note should be done. Awesome flip on the sample. This is a really crazy beat. A really good mixing, I think. I think. I love the flute in the background. That's super solid. Super solid. I love the reverse open hats and stuff like that. I'm gonna give him a seven on his melody because I really liked um, how interesting it was, but it was kind of just stagnant the entire time. I'm gonna give him eight for his drums because I think that it was a really awesome groove, but it kind of just like kept playing. I feel like it could have had like, I didn't have to be like, it just seems like it's constantly playing, especially the hi hats. Like the the eight weights and the snares have a really good rhythm, like boom, cha, da boom, cha, da boom. But the hi hats are like going the entire time, and I really think that he overused the hi hats. I'm gonna give him an eight, eight out of ten on his creativity, because really, really interesting flipping that melody. And for the mix, I'm gonna give him an eight also. Because that was a good mix. Okay, now I'm gonna check out Skin Zano. He says it doesn't stay out the same all the way through, so try to listen to the entire thing. Let's listen to it. Change up the chords there. Possibly even use like the MIDI. Okay. I like how we flip the melody. Oh, I like that tremolo. Just me or there's like no bass. The snare is also a little weak. He has a really, really clean drum pattern. I love his um, hi-hats too. This is a really, really good flip the melody. Oh, look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. That's awesome. I'm gonna give him nine for melody. Shoot, dude, this is crazy. Nine for creativity too. Nah, I'm gonna give him a six for his mix because I cannot feel his bass at all. He kind of like replays the sample at the beginning. It's crazy. I'm gonna say right there, like, dude, that was a really, really interesting beat. He never kept it the same. Really, really creative stuff right there. I gave him a nine for creativity. That was gonna be hard to beat. Okay, I'm not gonna check out Nate Kerr. Um, he said, man, it took longer than expected, but here it is. Hope it's good. Really creative intro. Love that sound. I don't hear my sample yet, but that's okay. By the way, this this young kid is on my um, live streams all the time. Like I can feel the bass better in this one. I wouldn't have chose that snare. Okay, we're going back into it.
Let's we'll skip ahead. Yeah, so it basically stays the same the entire time. Yeah, so that was a really interesting melody. I really liked the melody, but I felt like it repeated the entire time. I feel like that could have been changed a little bit. Yeah, that is one that is one thing that the last beat had for going for it. Like it had a very interesting arrangement. And I think I might want to do an arrangement kind of video coming up soon. Because listening to your guys' beats that you submitted, um, a lot of like the lower ones that didn't like do so great in the competition had like a really trash arrangement where it just kind of like a cr progressed. It kind of did one big rise for like three minutes and then sank down. It never had like a chorus, a verse. And this one you had sort of a kind of a chorus and bridge and verse and kind of thing. I'm gonna give it a six for the melody because it was very interesting, very unique, but it repeated way too much. I'm gonna give you seven for your drums because a really good groove. I love that groove, but I wasn't a huge fan of that snare. And also the 808 was a little too elongated. I'm gonna give it an H for creativity because I can't even hear the samples in there, but I trust I'd used them and if he did, he did something creative with it. <laughs> and then for the mix, I thought the mix was fine. I'll give it a seven. Okay, so my name is Micah. I make beats for Kigok for one year now. That's nice. Okay, so my question is, has he been making beats for one year? Or has he been using Kigok for one year? Because like if he started on a different platform, because if this is like his first year of producing and he's already made it to the top nine of this list, it's gonna be interesting. Check this out. Like that pad in the background. Also a really good effect on the melody. Okay. I think all of those notes are in the key, but not necessarily fit over top of the chords. Okay. I really like the vibe he's going for here. It's a really cool, chill vibe. I do these kind of beats a lot. It also seems like there's a lot of low end in the, in the mid range in the melody and stuff like that. It's kind of clashing with the bass. When he comes back into the drop, I hope he takes out some of the melody instruments. No. I wish he kind of like emptied space for the melodies. Give more variation. You could also translate things up an octave to make it more variation. Yeah, there are a couple things I, could just, I just critiqued on that. I like the vibe that he's going for in there. I'm going to give this guy a six for his melody. Um, cause it was very, pretty interesting, but it kind of repeated a lot. I'm gonna give him a seven for his drums. Cause like there was a couple sounds in there that were a little off. I'm gonna give him a seven for creativity cause it wasn't like crazy creative, but, um, very, very good, good filtering on the melody and stuff like that. And for the mix, I'm gonna give him a six for his mix because there's a little bit of a mid range and low end problems. Yeah. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Really like the vibe he's going for. I like to know if he's been producing for a year because if he's been producing for only one year, that's actually insane. Super stereo. Super, super chill. Song on the track. Okay. I like that. Really cool sound effect. You better drop right now because it's 28 seconds. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Love the Hyatt choice. Love the snare choice. Cool AOA sides. I made the flute kind of like distorted and it doesn't really fit this vibe, but whatever. Love the drum sound effects. I heard a little click there. It's kind of annoying. Like the pulsing effect on the tremolo of the melody. Yeah, this is a great beat. Yeah, that beat had a vibe to it. I'm gonna give him A for his melody because it sounds like he used the MIDI file and he really like tweaked the melody how he wanted to. Even if he didn't, like he did some really nice effects on that melody. But the drums, except for the fact that I didn't 100% love the 808 choice, his 808 slides were awesome, his heights were awesome, his claps were awesome. Eight for that too. Now for his creativity, there's been more creative beats, but I'm gonna still give him an eight for that. Um, Cause he had really good ideas on how to filter and tremolo and stuff like that. And for the mix, I'm gonna give him an eight because there are a couple things that could have been tweaked, but it was really, really good mix. Okay, next up we have Lustrate. Um, it's actually Lyson. And basically he found my YouTube channel a long time ago. And back when I was using GarageBand. So he's still using GarageBand, but now I use Cakewalk. Let's check out this beat. Here we go. Knowing Lyson, it's usually like EDM kind of stuff. I hear the sample for sure.
Love the rear we got there. There you go. Oh. Did he change the key? I was not expecting that. I love that pitch down. Awesome. He's got a groove here, dude. Woo! Oh. Awesome. He's, he's still using the sample. He has an acapella on this thing too. I would have made the snare a little bit louder. I haven't even been critiquing it really. I love those like bass growl things. Delayed drop. And now it's like a, I don't know, like a house kind of thing. Wow, really good beat. Um, I'm gonna give him a nine for his melody because he just never kept it the same. It was already is always sounding great. It was always changing up. The for the drums, I'm gonna give him a nine because there was a time where I thought that the snare could be a little louder, but that's not really a drum problem. That's more of a mix problem. For the creativity, I'm gonna give him nine also, simply because like nothing ever stayed the same. He flipped it into so many different ways, used it in so many different sounds. He used a tired, entirely different genre than basically everyone else did. Really great job on that. For the mix, I'm gonna give him a nine for his mix because it was a really great mix. Like I would have given him a 10, except the bass, I don't know the bass just didn't have the presence i usually like to have but, but anyway really good mix like it's still the highest number on the list nine 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 okay now we got god gift music he has a youtube channel let me click subscribe okay just subscribe to that um let's check out his beat called final beat he also has an instagram but i don't have an instagram so really cool reversing stuff on the melody Really crazy like pianos and stuff all over the place. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, really like everything going on. Back to the beginning, wow. Is that your vocal tag? It's awesome. Not really hearing much of a bass. crazy oh, sounds so good if even it's so crazy I'm gonna give him eight for his melody because it was just really awesome always changing always adding weird love layers that sounded good together even if you wouldn't expect them to sound good together for his drums eight I mean I didn't really notice anything wrong with them now it's for the creativity for creativity I'm gonna give him an eight also top-notch stuff there um, for the mix I'm gonna give him like a seven out of eight because I felt like the bass didn't really have much of a presence at all but really good beat like this is honestly solid chains productions who says he's david from he's 15 years old from the uk hope i enjoy this beat here we go starting out right out the, with the flute oh okay sounds like it's some uk stuff here That bass is really crazy. Cool drum selection, like cool drum sounds you chose. Awesome, dude. Nice. The bass is total UK stuff. Okay. Okay, complete change up. Are they gonna bring my flute in here, I bet?
Okay, so I'm not 100% sure why he did that change up there. And even in that second section, he didn't really have my sample at all. I'm gonna give this guy a 6 out of 10 for his melody. Really pretty much stayed the same the entire time. And it wasn't like a creative flip of the melody. Just pretty much staying the same time. The drums, I'm gonna give him 9 out of 10 for his drum, drums. Because that was just like, th those are some of the best trap drums I've ever heard in my life. Really great sound selection, great rhythms, great job on those. I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10 for creativity. Some things were kind of creative, but a lot of it was just pretty much the same all the time. And for the mix, I actually kind of like that mix, so I'm gonna give him 8 out of 10 for the mix. So good, good job, dude, that was a good beat. Okay, and finally we have a beat from Tom, Steve, and L. Let's check out this beat. Whoa. Oh, that's his vocal tag. <laughs> Okay. Eh. Didn't have the impactfulness I was hoping. Lots of sub bass. And I think a sample flip was pretty much sort of basic. Like, he didn't really do much of a creativity on the melody. I'm gonna give him a 5 out of 10 for his melody. He literally just played the melody. Didn't really do anything creative to it. For the drums, I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10 because I really love the drum patterns he had, love the drum selection he had. The 808 was a little bit too bassy and subby and wild. And some of the rolls were out of tune, I think, but whatever. Um, for creativity, I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10 because I did like all of his like sound effects that he used. Those were creative. I think the mix was pretty good. I'm gonna give him 8, for, 8 out of 10 for the mix. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, so right now we have Prod27, Lustrate, and Skin Zeno in the top three with no particular order. I'm gonna be checking out all those three and I'm gonna tell you what I really like about them, what makes them stand out over all the other ones, and then we'll decide who's the winner. Because I just listened to Skin Zeno, and I wasn't 100% on those drums. You know, like the melody was pretty interesting, but when the drums actually came in, it didn't really feel like the woo kind of feeling I was going for. Okay, Lustrate, let's listen to this guy. listen to a licensed beat and it's really really solid um it's gonna be hard to beat that one um just really dynamic keeps changing keeps changing let's listen to prod 27 <laughs> Okay, so in third place, I, I'm gonna put Skin Zeno. And I think that's because his mix, his mix kind of sounded compressed. So when the drop kind of finally hit, it's just like, boom. Okay, okay. It just really didn't have the same impactfulness that some of the other ones did. Really loved your melodies, really dynamic, always changing, really awesome stuff there. But his drops, his mix, it just it wasn't, didn't have the same like landing kind of a feeling the other ones did. And then in first place, we got Lustrate. Also known as lies an awesome beat. Woo! Yeah, so Lust Straight just like set the bar super duper high on this beat. Really crazy stuff. He just has a really dynamic, really impactful, always changing, really, really, really dope stuff. And that means that Prod 27 is second place simply because those drums were like super amazing, man. I do stand by what I said in the beginning where it kind of like the Hyatt's were always hitting and I wish that the Hyatt's kind of died down a little bit. But other than that, his drums were just on point, super crisp kick and drum and everything like that. Really loved his drums there. And, and also, like, let's be clear, like, his melody was fire, too. Anyway, so all three of those are beginning my new sample pack. That's just an exclusive one I made for this competition. Three to four gigabytes. I don't remember anymore. It's a huge sample pack. And then congratulations, Prod27 and Elyson. Um, They're both going to be getting collabs with me, but especially Elyson because he's having a video collab with me. So, yeah, Elyson, hit me up. Tell me how this collab is going to go. Um, Obviously, I'll plug all your SoundClouds and stuff like that. We could do a video where, like, we're both talking in the video, perhaps. Or we can just simply do a video where we make a beat behind the camera and and then I show off the beat in camera talking about how you helped it and stuff like that. This past week, Tuesday, what I did was I made a video where I entirely made a melody and it was a super fire melody, but then I sent it off to By Perry and um, he flipped the melody into his full entire beat. And then his beat is at the end of the video. We plugged his YouTube channel all over the place. It turned out to be a really good video and the beat was just like super fire. I love By Perry stuff. But yeah, I wonder if we could do like maybe a collab where it's like, 
half EDM stuff, half trap stuff. We can do something really awesome with that. Yeah, basically I'm like asking everyone in general, like would that be something interesting to you? Like a half EDM beat, half trap beat? Tell me if you like that kind of idea in like in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for making the beats. Um, 2.6 thousand subscribers basically. Um, you guys have been so amazing to me. We literally gained 600 subscribers in the past two and a half weeks. <laughs> this is a crazy, crazy growth on this channel. But anyway, see you guys later. I'd love to do another contest like this. Let me know in the comment section. See you guys later. Woo!